uh, I'll show you some uh, work on the UXUI. So this is like UXUI series. If you want uh, more of them, please just comment it or write me in Telegram. I'll do more if you have any problems with your uh, UXUI development. Uh, so when you create a new project, you have only this part this view all right uh, here if you click here this is uh, the style of the app bar you can change it uh, however you like it we're gonna keep it the first one okay so we have a design let's go to dribble for example and we can find anything that we like that we want to use <clears throat> Let's choose the difficult one. I like that one. Let it load. All right. So how can we do this part? OK, uh, I'm going to show you the whole process of the work. First of all, we go to Google and find uh, Boston Bridge. I guess that was a Boston, right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> right. Just let's choose anything. Mm. let's choose this one so I save it okay and it's not the best idea to use project media but for our like tutorial we can use project media to upload files usually we use project media only to upload your logo and splash screen that's it you don't need anything else you don't need to do what i'm doing right now just uploading all your images to project media okay later i'm going to explain you uh, how better you should do it but right now for a test to understand how to work on uxy in flutterflow we're gonna do we're gonna go this way so all right so i have a media here I click on it and I save that link. I copy that link and I go back to our uh, UI builder. Let's delete this column and we take a stack element and drop it on our page. Okay, and into this stack, on top of the stack, I send, I drop an image. Okay, so what is stack? Okay, if uh, when you use stack widget, what we can do, I can uh, drop as many widgets, widgets I can, I want to. For example, let's change the width and height of the widget on 100% and see the images. So see, like I can send, drop here as many uh, widgets as I want to and I can uh, put them anywhere I want. Uh, this is the bad idea for those people who think that he can use only stack to build this page all right this is the this is a stupid idea guys seriously never do this because it's not responsive for example i choose ipad i choose uh, your pc right monitor uh, see how how it's working so yeah uh, we just use the normal phone and I delete all the images except this one. So you see, if I click on the image, I see horizontal alignment and vertical alignment. I can play with it. And you see how my image is going up and down. So I delete uh, the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment. And now it's, my image is on the top left side. Uh, what I need to do, I need to take the image and set the width and height of the image on 100%. Like percentage, all right? Not not pixels. Why percentage? Because if I'll start changing the screens, it's always 100%, always. Whatever it is, whatever I'm using. All right, so we have the image here. And when we copied this path here, I can put the path over here. Okay, this is one of the ways. If when you use your project media, 
all right you can just image type here network you change to asset and choose your Im asset image this is uh let's learn how to use like network the normal way okay so all right uh we have a stack here on top of this stack i want to drop an a column all right so when do we use column we use column when we want to uh make a design from top from this part until the end that's when we use column all right uh, let's see on the design at the left side we have some type of points and at the right side we have a logo all right so if we drop widgets uh, horizontal uh, horizontally then we use row all right uh, when we want to drop uh, widgets from top of vertically we use column okay all right uh let's take uh, a row so if you see i'm going to delete this row i can click here and i can choose a row what's happening uh, we have a widget tree all right and this widget is inside of a column the column widget we can call it a parent widget the main widget is a parent widget and the uh, widget inside of the parent widget we call it a child <clears throat> a child or children so into this row i want to drop uh, a text and i want to drop an icon why i drop icon because i don't have this logo like that one so i'm just gonna use um, what's called an icon okay Let's take a row. So we don't see anything here because it's black and the, and the color of this one is black. Let's change the color first. So to the white one. And I can also white color. And then we choose the row. In the row, we have main axis alignment in the properties and cross axis alignment. So main axis alignment in a row, like in a row, main axis alignment we can uh, all the widgets we have inside of this row we can change the positions like left side middle right side uh, space evenly it's when you have like free space here they're all even uh, space around it's then at the left side and at the right side we have same uh, space free space in the middle it's like randomly all right now we look only at the left side and at the right side and we have space between it's uh your one of the widgets it's at the left side another one it's at the right side this main exit alignment works not only with two widgets inside of a row but also if i add one more widget like let's make it a text and make the color white <clears throat> so we can see it you see right so right now i have free space here the icon is in the middle and if i just play around with this main access alignment you see how it's changing okay right now we are using space between so i delete one of the text uh, i take the icon and the icon is gonna be like anything for example let's make uh, our logo like Let's choose this one and we change the size of, of, the, of the logo to 36. Uh, let's see at our design. So it, this person, he got 102,630 1, points. So right, 102,630. And let's change the font size to 18 and font weight it's the fatness of the font it's gonna be like 700 bold right so let's take a closer look what kind of a problem we have here right now we have, uh, the problem is that our widget is at the 
like border of, of our cell phone. I want it to be like to have a padding on the left side and the right side. So we take a row and in, our, in, in this row we have a padding system, a padding settings. Let's make left side and right side 12 and 12, done. So we are cool right now. And let's add to this text uh, the word points. Oh, what kind of problems we have right now? We see that this, the points itself, it's like fat and the points, the word is like slim. How can we do this? So first of all, of course, uh, we have to delete this text widget. Why? Because we have another widget uh, which has a name rich text and we place it right here. And the same thing, we change the color settings and font weight 700, cool. So here we write one or two six three zero, and we can add a text span, and here we write points. So right now we can add as many as we want to, and also we have a uh, icon here, a icon. We click on it, and we can customly change only the the word points. So it's like four hundred. No, it's too fat. Let's make it extra light. Nope. Mm. Let's change to Roboto. Roboto is nice. By the way, I like the font Roboto. We can play with it. Yep. And we go back. So, another problem. Our points and the word point itself is like close to each other. We need to make a space. How can we do it? We just take the text pen tool where we have a word points and make one space between them. Okay, like so here, we make a space and it's good and we can add it here as well. Okay, um, then we need Jennifer, welcome to San Francisco. All right, let's go to our widget tree and see what we have here. So we have a row, this is the row and the column, All right? So where do we put these words we put it into the column all right so like we have one child here which is going to be text all right and let's make it like white and change the text itself let's write jennifer and let's change the font size to 28 font weight everything else we keep the same uh, font family that's what we change because right here we have a different totally font let's find this font uh, it has a lot of fonts but we need at least some something similar hmm unfortunately we don't have anything similar to that one and then we can choose let's choose railway and we put the styling tell italy styling that's fine jennifer comma okay next welcome to san francisco let's add one more text yes we can make it like as before the which the rich text uh the one that we used here but as we, we will have one more extra like space to make it like in you know, three lines so it's better to use different uh, text widgets itself so the font weight is going to be bold uh, color is going to be white and the font size is going to be 24 and we just write welcome to press enter san Francis francisco welcome done same problem as before we need more space we need a padding <clears throat> what we can do yes we can take the padding and add 12 here and 12 here one of the pro it's not like a problem but what i like to do let's take the row 
refresh the paddings, so delete these paddings and delete the paddings here as well in the text widgets. Okay, take column and add uh, padding inside this column. And fine, cool. It's like so right now we have, if we want to change the padding, we change the padding only here, not for each widget, all right? Then we need to make this type of uh, design. How we can do it? 